and it's official. Your boy is an author. Make Every Day a Wednesday book has finally arrived. That coronavirus pandemic tried to slow us down, but you know champions like us, we fight and keep fighting. And now's the time. I just need your help. I need your support. You can go to Amazon.com to get a copy. Or if you want an autographed copy, go to FreddieFry.com slash book page and your boy got you. You can get one copy. Maybe get two copies. I just need your support. And I thank you in advance. And you wonder why you're at your breaking point. You wonder why you're wallowing in misery. You wonder why you feel sad. Anxiety, borderline depressed. It's because you give and you give and you give some more. And they have absolutely no problem taking and taking and taking some more. You have to stop neglecting you. You have to stop neglecting yourself. When you wake up, it's not about you. It's all about them. And that's okay, that's fine. It's great to add value to others and give of yourself. But I need you to ask yourself this question. Number one, why do you feel the way you feel? And number two, is in this situation, is it equal giving and equal sacrifice? Because the answer to number one is you feel this way because you know deep down inside, deep down in your heart, deep down in your soul, that something is not right and I'll answer number two for you as well it's not equal giving and it's not equal sacrifice so if you put that other person and those other people in a position to win while you steady lose any relationship should be set up as a win win and right now you smack dab in the middle of a win lose and you're on the wrong side of history you're the one losing and I'm not talking about a situation where you're in a relationship and your partner falls on hard times and you have to take up a little bit more of the slack. What I'm talking about is when you fall on hard times, is your partner taking up that slack, equal giving, equal sacrifice, and having your back the same way you have their back. And right now the answer is no. Stop neglecting yourself. Because when you're neglecting yourself, you're not respecting yourself. And when you're not respecting yourself, you're not accepting yourself. And that is unacceptable. This is the moment that you start doing you. This is the moment that you say, no, it's my time. I'm going to give to you. But right now, I need to give to me. And I'm not talking about your kids. We got to show love to the kids and we're going to have to bend over backwards for them. I'm talking about all these grown folks. Your so-called cronies, your so-called homies, your friends. That just take and take and take. Right now that all stops. I've said this before. Let me introduce you to your favorite word. Your new favorite word. And that's no. So you tell them no. Right now it's about me. It's been about you for far too long. And I'm going to stop neglecting myself. Because I'm worth it. Because I'm worthy. Because I'm enough. And if I don't take care of me. It's impossible for me to take care of you. And if I don't love me. It's impossible for me to love you. So I have to stop neglecting myself or I'm going to lose my mind. You have all the strength. You have all the power to flip this, to change this. And I'm not saying make it in your favor. I'm saying make it about you when it needs to be about you. Stop neglecting yourself and force them to respect you and make sure that you're respecting yourself from this day forward because you know what it's all about. When you stop neglecting yourself, you find yourself climbing over the hump of any adversity you ever face to make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.